Esther speaks about. Uh, David administers justice and kindness. David administers. That's what you are saying? Justice and kindness. Justice and kindness. I will write down scripture. Second Samuel chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. And then it leaves out verse 8 for some reason. It goes to verse 9 through 12. Our adult topic, the mercy, the mercy of justice. The mercy of justice. The mercy of justice, which means that you don't deserve it. David said, is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul mm -hmm. that I may show him kindness, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake, the dealing with the promise, the dealing with the promise that was made between them. Actually, the brother-in-laws. Mm -hmm. Actually, the brother-in-laws. And best friends. But yet, they was the best of friends. Yes. Jonathan and David. Because Jonathan's father was the king. Mm -hmm. And David, like, shined brighter than Saul. Oh. <laughs> female cooked up Saul. <laughs> Saul have killed his thousands. <laughs> but David killed the ten thousand. Ten thousand. <laughs> and I thought jealousy uh, that was a part of females <laughs> no, no, it's not. Oh, you brought up something. <laughs> no, it's not. I thought it's that not. was an area that the female would dwell in. No, 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 it's not. But I found out through time, hey, mama, I found out through time that there are some jealous males. Hmm. Crazy. Hmm. As you read the Bible, you find that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the time. You don't see too many women, not even the Bible speaks of. So. You don't see it. Don't they see, see them coming into a my fellowship with one another to help yeah. one another. Always do. But they won't men are them. somewhat cutthroat. They are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> You don't like us to be. I'm just playing with you. No, it's not a matter of uh, uh, lightning, but women, but women would, you would just, but for what, what they do is they keep women divided by, you, you hear a man say, they jealous of you. And they ain't jealous of you, it just make them a weak. And, and a man should never do that to women, saying that to women, because they begin to look, and they begin, well, maybe they are, maybe they see stuff I don't see. Yeah. So we need to, so we need to watch what we do within the church by telling people that people are jealous of them. People don't even be thinking about them. And people would start stuff for nothing. So we gotta be, be careful because women will work. I'm talking about this. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you say it in just a minute. Since you started, go ahead. Women will work together. And they will work together and they will be, because I've seen them. People, I mean, don't y'all know, women don't have food, they will bring, other women will bring food. Uh, they will do stuff for each other, you know, even no matter what the situation is. But if you let someone come in, someone else, like a, 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 male. a, a male will come in and say, they jealous of you. A male. Oh, yes, 
and bust it up. And that's all the time. But you don't even see it in, in, in you know, but if you just let it go, you'll see the unity of women. Yeah, well, they have a side that we don't have. Compassion. When it comes, that's why we need to change in our hearts. Mm -hmm. This is where the new birth comes in. It's not giving you a heart of flesh. Mm -hmm. What you say? I'll take, take that stone of God out of there. Because men want to be dominant. They want to be yeah. rulers. They are enslaved others. Yes. And so now I see Saul being jealous of David because of the attention that the females gave. He, what you said? He asked the question, what more could he have? The next thing he can get is the kingdom. What you said? Now, My question is, the attention he was getting was it after he killed it was after. Mm -hmm. It was after the life. It was after. And then also, <clears throat> everything that David put his hand on, God was with him. He would be victorious. See, that makes the difference in the life of any man when God is involved. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. That makes a difference in families when fathers have God leading them mm -hmm. and guiding the family. What you say? But Saul was jealous and he tricked David with his first daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was using his daughter to kill David, to, mm -hmm. get, to get close to him. See, a lot of times. You got to watch people that are real close. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's in their heart and their mind. And Saul kept David close to him. See? And he was using pawns to kill him. And first of all, he gave him his daughter, but yet he gave him to the best man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To make David angry, mad, and upset. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the second daughter he gave, which was Michael, mm -hmm. David had a lot of problems with her, even though she loved him. Mm -hmm. And Saul was trying to use her to snap David. Mm -hmm. See? But she told him about mm -hmm. the plot. David got out through the night. And so Saul always tried to keep David close. He would forgive. He would ask David for forgiveness. He would throw a javel at him. But he would always bring him closer to him. But that evil spirit, that evil spirit that Saul had. And here is the friendship between Jonathan and David. Jonathan knew that his father was trying to kill him. And he told him, said, now, you can abide here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bring you word. If I shoot this arrow to the right, mm -hmm. that means you need to run. Okay. But if the arrow don't come close to you, if it don't go over your head, that means that you're welcome, mm -hmm. amen, in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And so word got back to David that Saul was trying to kill him. So that left him, amen, being a fugitive and a beggar going out, being on the other side. But before he left him and Jonathan made a promise yep. that if he be the last one to live, mm -hmm. I'll take care of your descendants. Yep. And if you be the last one, you take care of mine. Jonathan also denounced his kingship. Yes, he did. Because he knew that God was with David. Mm -hmm. Can you tell when God is with somebody? Yes, yes you can. Yes. Even though Jonathan was next in line, Jonathan understood that I don't have what he had. God makes the difference in our lives. Yes, do. And so three years, David 
David was the king over a partial of Israel. Yeah. I think of the three tribes that yeah. he was over. Then three years later, he combined all of them. Amen. So David remembered his promise as God continued to bless okay, the king. How many know when God bless you, you ought to help somebody else? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Jonathan had a son. And the name was Mephibosheth. symbolic of you and I when we are born, we are crippled spiritually. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity and you cannot walk that spiritual walk that we are supposed to walk because you are crippled. You, you can't keep it to save your life. Mm -hmm. I'm on top to you. We're crippled. We can't do what God asks us to do without his mercy, mm -hmm. without his grace, without his saving grace. And so you hear the song, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Mm -hmm. Save a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Mm -hmm. Blind, but now I see. Anybody thank God for his grace? Amen. 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 Justice and kindness. Kindness is the love of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. That shows us mercy. Yes. Even though we deserve what? Death. Death. Because you're crippled. You're not, you're not the way you're supposed to be. You're not the person that God created you to be spiritually. You was born blind. You was yeah. born crippled. You was yeah. born out of the grace, amen, and love of God. You was born like that. Yeah. And that's what David said. I was born in sin, shaping in iniquity. And in sin did my mother what? Conceive, Conceive me. Many believe that that point is that David was an outside child. See? And so I can't give you... <laughs> scripture on that, so don't go and tell nobody he was an outside child. But I do know he was a child of Jesse. <laughs> Is that right. all right? That's yeah. right, that's right. The name of Phibosheth, did you look it up? I think it means son of the king. Mm -hmm. It don't mean son of the king. You talking about Phibosheth? No. Uh, I think you say uh, you mean the lame son? The name, the spiritual name of my family. Stands for shame. What is it? Shame. 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 Oh, it's shame. I'm yeah. getting it. Shame. Mouth yeah. of shame. Yeah. Mouth of shame. Shame. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to give you that. He lived in a place that is called Lodibar. Lodibar, yeah. Lodibar means without pasture. Without pasture. Uh, what else? Uh, a dry place. A dry place. Yeah. What else? Yeah. No word. Yeah. What it is? No word. No word. No word. No communication. Kind of lonely place, it? it was a lonely out. bar. It's a lonely place. Lonely it's place. symbolic lonely. of lonely. hell. Lonely. lonely. Desert, there you go. No communication. You cut off. And I would like to get all y'all phones this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have a little trouble by getting these yeah. phones. No communication. 
Oh. And I want to hit no word. In the beginning, God was the word. Was the word. That's right. That's right. That's right. The word means life. Life. Mm -hmm. And this boy was down in no pastures, no water. When you don't have any water, you got a desert place. Mm -hmm. You got cactus. You got high now. They in hiding out. They were high now. Yeah, they was hiding out because his daddy had lost. His grandfather had lost the kingdom. And you can't have two kings. That's right. That's right. And one palace. Mm -hmm. And he was being taken care of by a rich man. What was his name? Michelle. Uh, no, uh, Zippy. 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 He was Zippy. 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 He was he was being taken care of by a rich man, one that was loyal so. to Saul. To so. mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. One that was loyal to Saul, which means that he he was afraid of the king. He was afraid of David because. You calling me to find out is there anybody from the house of Saul, which was put in my mind, you trying to kill me. You trying to kill me. You trying to get me close enough to get rid of me because I was loyal to Saul. Is there any of the house? that I may show kindness. Is that the lesson? Yeah, yeah that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake. My brother-in-law, my friend, the promise that we made to one another, <coughs> which is an, an act of God. I want to hit promise for just a moment because when we make promises, we got to make yeah. sure that we keep the promise. That's right. That's right. That's right. He said, best not to make it. That's right. That's right. And then break it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Trouble there. That's trouble there. So we got to be careful when we make promises. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this. I promise you that. <laughs> you can't go and do it if you did not say it. Yeah. Be careful on the promises because. There is an action that comes behind it. It's easy to say something. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Amen. Right. Right. Your words, your bond. Oh. There we go. That's what I want you to understand. That servant is he. Hmm. What you call the name? Zippa? Yeah, Zippa. And the king says, There are not yet any of the house of Saul, verse 3, that I may show the kindness of God unto. Him. What is the kindness of God? Eternal life. Eternal life. And if he saves us, we will never die because of what I think. That's the what I think. The kindness of God is love. love. That you don't deserve. Amen. Unmerited. There it is, Jim. Unmerited faith. What is grace? The one that picked you up out of, I hear you speaking, he got me up out of the muck. Mm -hmm. That's loaded by. Mm -hmm. See, he reached way down. There you go, preacher. There you go. <laughs> Make it plain. And got you from a position that was no communication. It's a bad place when you can't talk to nobody. Mm -hmm. that is, that's sad. You can't hear a word from the Lord. And we know in between Malachi and Genesis, there was how many years? 400. 400 years. No communication from God. Yeah. It's a bad thing when a church can't hear a word from God. Amen. And so he was in Lodabar. He was in hell, the place, amen, of torment. And that's the position that we're in without Christ. And so now he's showing the kindness 
for Jonathan's sake. Jonathan is what? The mediator. Yeah. Which is symbolic of who? Jesus. There it is. Which is symbolic of Christ. He's between man and God. I'm doing it for Christ's sake. What do God show us? For who? For who? The sake of who? Christ. It's because of him. None can come to the Father but what? By me. By me. And so we have to go through Jesus Christ. And, and, and the promise, amen, the promise that he made to him was an everlasting promise. Not only to Mephibosheth, but to his son. His son. Mm -hmm. See? From generation to generation, he made it to Jonathan, Mephibosheth, and now it passed on to his child. He might have was crippled in it, but he <laughs> had children. That's right. <laughs> I just had a heart. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get your mind back where I supposed to be. <laughs> Y'all all right? Any questions so far? Now, when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, verse 6, the son of Saul, was come unto David, he fell on his face. What is he doing? Showing reverence. Showing him reverence. Honor. Mm -hmm. To whom honor? Is due. Uh -huh. And when you bow prostrate, mm -hmm. that is the worship. Uh -huh. And whenever you bow before the king, you don't say anything until you get what? Permission, Permission to do so. He asked him his name. He answered, Behold, what? Thy servant. Behold thy servant. What is he saying here? He fell on his face and did reference, and David said, Mephibosheth. And he answered, Behold thy servant. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about me, David. I didn't come, amen, to cause any trouble. I am your servant. What are we? There we are. There we are. I bowed in humble submission unto thee. What is it that you would have me to do? With servants. When you read Paul's letter, you, that's what you see. Paul, a servant of Christ. Yeah. That's who we are. We can't forget that position, which is actually slave ship. Which is actually a slave to God. We're supposed to do what he asks us to do. Servants, slaves, bondsmen. Every letter that you read of Paul, you see that at the beginning. Paul, a servant. Paul, a man, bondsman. Paul, it doesn't make a difference. He always humbled himself to be what? A servant of God. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are. And Jonathan recognized, listen, I got to humble myself because I have come before the king of Israel. Even though He's my uncle. We got to buy. Come on in. And so when we remember the position, when we remember that there is no big eyes. That's right. That's right. We are all our servants. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just different positions. That's all. But we're still servants. <laughs> Even though you may pass it, you're only a servant. <laughs> I'm deacon, yeah. You're still a servant. servant. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter what position you hold, you're still servants <laughs> of Christ. That's right. That's right. To give service to the people. Even though I worked at Disney four and a half years and I amen, worked in the kingdom out there and just walking around, you can't enjoy the festivities because I was working. 
Can I get a witness here? Which means that when we come to church, what you say, Pastor? I got to say it. When we come to church as children of God, those of us that are servants, we're supposed to serve the people. Amen. We can't come and enjoy the service like they enjoy it because we're serving the people. You can't get past your servanthood. So you get yours on Wednesday. That's true. As leaders, you get yours Wednesday. And you come here and serve on Sunday. What'd you say, Pastor? You didn't come to eat today. <laughs> you can get it on Sunday school, but you can get it on Wednesday night, but you can't come here Sunday being a servant to the people you enjoy the festivities. That's right. That's right. You're right. Tell them something about it. If you've been called to serve that Sunday, but then you come to serve. That's right. Never forget that we are servants of the people. Amen. And when we serve the people, God will take care of your business. Amen. How many believe that? Amen. Amen. If you put him first, he said what? You give me mine first. 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 I'm going to do something. That's right. Open how many doors we got? Very few, but how many windows you have? <laughs> Look at how you're going to pull your blessings out. Look at that preacher. I open them, pull you out blessings. Mm -hmm. You don't have room mm -hmm. to receive. Mm -hmm. But when we remember our positions, mm -hmm. see, it doesn't matter of your uniform, you still mm -hmm. serve. Right. It doesn't matter of your position, you still a servant. And this is what Jonathan's son did, Mephibosheth, thy servant. I'm your servant. I'm here to hear what you have to say. Verse 7, and David said unto him, fear not. He's taking this away from him. Isn't that what God tells us, mother? <coughs> Let not your heart be troubled. I have the power to get rid of you. This is what David is saying, but I, I didn't bring you here to kill you. Fear not, for he have not given us the spirit of fear, but of what? Power. Love. And a sound mind. When you love that what you got, you got power. Regardless of how people treat you, Love working no evil against his neighbor. Yes, and when you can control yourself, what you say? See, you can control the whole city when you can control you. Yes. Make no difference what they say to you. They might call you a horse. <laughs> but you know you're not a horse. Right. Now you get mad because they call you that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go away on that. <laughs> they can call you that. But when you in control of you, you don't you in control of your temper. That's right. I don't have to get mad because of what she said. I don't have to fight because of what they did. I'm in control of who? And when we control ourselves, you control a lot of armor, yeah. You got strength, you got power. Mm -hmm. People might call you, you know, you, you let people run over you. No. No. You controlling yourself, you know. I don't want to get mad. <clears throat> see? And that's what Rambo told me. <laughs> you don't want to see me when I get mad. <laughs> Y'all all right? <laughs> Fear not, for I will surely show thee kindness for Jonathan thy father's sake. And when God look at us, he shows us kindness 
for Jesus' sake. Amen. And I thank God for his mercy. Amen. Amen. It was the morning that he showed us Anybody want to tell him thank you? Thank, thank you. you. We, don't, we, don't, we don't deserve the kindness of God because throughout this week, we did something that displeasing to him. Amen. Amen. Sure did. That's right. Sure did. But because he loves us, and the writer said he's able to present us faultless. Now to him that is what? Able. To keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory. To the only wise God our Savior. Who's your Savior? Jesus Christ. There he is. It's because of him that he allowed our golden moments to roll on. It could have been us. Yes, it could that the tornadoes hit. Yes, Amen. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Good. Good. Yeah. Anybody believe that? Oh, yeah. Amen. It could have been us yeah. that don't have legs. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. But God blessed us to walk. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Don't get around like I used to. Amen. But I'm still getting around. Right. Amen. That's right. Can't see like I used to see. But thank God I can go to the hot dog. So that's the kindness yes, of God. Is. Regardless of how I treated it, he told them men are always right. 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 But there are times we miss. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so he still shows us kindness. Yeah. He still wakes us up. Amen. You still got activities of your limbs. Mm -hmm. And there was no bad news this morning. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Children doing well. Come on, preacher. Uh, anybody kids doing fine? Amen. Yeah. 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 Thank God for where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, give them a praise. Come on. Thank you, Lord. And listen, I'm not going to own it. Take you out of loading bar. I got to get out of here. But what I'm going to do, the land that Saul owned, okay. All right. I'm going to restore. Yes, right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it to the man that's been taking care of you. He got 15 sons mm -hmm. and 20 sons. Yes. And I'm going to allow them to cultivate the land. Mm -hmm. And I want them to take care of the fruit, amen, and take it to the market and take care of you. But as for Jonathan, he going to eat at my table. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Amen. What a God. Yep, amen. Yep. Have you ever restored anything back to you? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, let me ask you, have you ever been sick? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Didn't he heal your body? Yeah. Yeah. Give him a praise in the house. Yeah. And so he's good to us. He's good to us. Mm -hmm. And when, when we see how good he is to us, that should pull us closer to him. Amen. Lord, I don't deserve this, but I thank you Amen. for the house. I thank you for the wife. I thank you for the children. I thank you for the job. I thank you for the cars. I thank you for the clothes. I thank you for everything. Thank him for the mercy. Yes, 